Hello and welcome to the stream. I'm your host, Boogie. And I am your co-host, E-Man. And this is Warband and A. Tonight we have the semi-final match against West Knights vs. Wapa. That means you yeah, it's a very uh, exciting match. The winner of this goes on to the final, and the winner of the final wins UNAC Season 2. Yes. West is looking like a big favorite right now, already uh, sweeping their Division 3-0, and uh, already faced Wapaw in the first week where they beat them 16-2. And uh, just yesterday, coming off a big win against TMW of the 16-1, so definitely Wapaw looking like they have their hands filled with West Knights. It looks tough for them, Bogey. It looks oh so tough. They already have a proven track record of not doing too well against these guys, but nonetheless, if they want to stay in this tournament, they got to have a good showing here. Maybe it is time for the West Knights to fall. All right, and I think we're already at the duel right now, PPK versus Jim. That gave us the best duel of UNAC season one. And, and uh, it is underway. Again. Duel starts. Both opponents <laughs> looking each other in the eyes. Lots of blocking. Both of these guys know how to duel. It's very exciting to watch a fight. Right now, a lull is both fake. Oh, wait, no. PPK doing the majority of the blocking. Jim is not getting a swing through. Oh, a kick by PPK fails to connect, but it means he's able to read Jim. If you throw out a kick, it means you're able to read the opponent. Oh, and he reads him quite well because he gets a good slice. Jim at a fraction of health. And now PPK is on the aggressive, but it's, it's, it's neat. He doesn't swing. He doesn't let go of his swing. He just takes out his opponent. Meanwhile, Jim likes to actually try to make the swords touch. DPK with the edge. He is waiting. Jim on the back foot here. Oh, with jumping slice trying to catch him there. Jim actually gets hit up again. Amazing that he survived that. Just a light tap. And now PPK still on him. DPK is so calm and composed. Luring Jim into this fight. I think, I think TPK is gonna. Oh! Another kick. Maybe not necessary at this point, TPK. <laughs> but Jim's still hanging in there, trying to see when he should jump in. Oh! And he gets a good sling, TPK. Oh, goodness me! A whip! TPK whips, no damage on the attack. Jim is doing so hard. Both of these men have blood running down to the palms of their hands. PPK is now a little aggressive. He's angered by the hit. Oh my goodness. Now they're going at it. PPK trying to stay calm, trying to regain his composure. Jim not allowing him to. Jim again, a little prodding. Oh, it might culminate right here, folks. Oh, they're still going at it. This is a juicy one. <laughs> wow, and Jim comes back and wins it. That was a pretty intense fight against that Jim and PPK. That was so intense. Someone, someone fainted in the stands. I think that is the crucial thing that allowed Jim to win because the man who fainted was in sight of PPK and possibly that... that that image might have made him fall through there. So, round two. Who won the previous goal before he became Jim? Jim won. Oh, and Jim's on path to win again. PPK, this is a rematch. A really epic one. They can always get these two to duel, because it's amazing. This is the uh, winner of the current, or the, the last completed duel tournament. He oh, beat the wow. uh, the Euro uh, M, who is, uh, was undefeated in America uh, ever since uh, dual tournaments were a thing. So that was a big uh, uproar in the community. 
Oh, so PPK is the underdog here. Jim is is a champion. Champion at duel. Amazing that PPK can hold his own though. He's doing quite well. But uh, oh, oh, he's doing superb. Now yeah, we got a great slice on Jim. Jim's bleeding pretty hard. I wouldn't say uh, PPK is much of an underdog. I would just say Jim has has won the last two tournament. They're both really great duelists and very, you know, as you can tell, they. You know, oh, it's going forever. My God, they're great duelists, but Jim is the better. He wins 2-0. Great duel, though. Great duel. These men put on a wonderful show. It's just exquisite swordsmanship. May they continue it with the whole teams in the field of battle. Well, this is Wapa's map. They won the duel last time and they got to choose their map, and it didn't really work out well for them. Um, maybe it will work out better this this time. Maybe they uh, learn from their mistakes and know how to uh, face off against WK. Oh, I'm having deja vu. Their I think I remember their first meeting of the first week. Wapa allowed WK to pick the map, right? I think that's how it went down. They won the I, duel but forsook the map. I am not actually sure, but Cheese comes out and says Nordtown top, so they want to fight a closed map against WK. How this works out for him. What are your feelings on such a strategy? Well, uh, if there is a weak point in WK, I would have to say people say it's their infantry skills though that is not weak at all they they uh last night against tmw people were saying tmw had the better infantry skill and well i mean wk went out and went infantry versus infantry and beat them so i mean it's going to be tough for wapa they're definitely going to have to bring their a game to beat on wk because right now wk looks pretty tough but i can understand why they want to do uh a closed map because that is has a chance of them uh, beating them infantry versus infantry. Also, Nordtown is a very old map in the competitive scene. They might know their strategies well, and uh, hopefully that can play a part. Well, well, Paul already know coming in here that it's kind of an uphill battle given their performance in UNAX season two, but maybe in the close range melees, I mean, they got it's Jim, maybe Jim has taught them a few of the, a few of his techniques here <laughs> that they can bring into the big battle. Maybe, but uh, really, duelist and uh, regular sword and board infantry is is very different in right, terms yes. of how it play play they goes are, about. They are worlds apart. You're right. You could be a fantastic duelist and not hold your own in an infantry. However, there is a, a, a some infantry. Uh, people that are duelists bring out spears, and uh, since a spear is kind of like a, you get the block manually block all the time. If you want to do uh, a two-hander spear, uh, you can see like Kradok and Oodle from WK will probably bring out like a pike or a spear and go two-hander on that because they're both can hold their own blocking. Yep, I have seen Kradok do great things with a spear. Now while the teams. I've, facts has been decided. I know it is North Town, but are we waiting for the faction or? Uh, well, Pa has chosen Rodox, and WK have chosen Nords. Rodox against Nords. We got a colorful assortment of people in here. We have Fidel Lagstro in WK, Uve, Oodle, Gelden, Calamity. Familiar names. And for Wapa, well, of course we have Cheese Pizza. <laughs> the man with the single best name in all of competitive war. <laughs> Cheese Pizza. Although lately, his, uh, his distributors have been giving him a shoddy product because his team's not been doing good. His cheese is a little runny. <laughs> it's making me want pizza right now, I tell you what. <laughs> oh, boy.
So, aside from Cheese Pizza, who else we got on Wapa who stand out? Oh, let's see. Quantum Matrix uh, is a is a great uh, archer. You also might see him on uh, on Cav. Reds is Red Knight. He is Wapa's uh, soul cav, basically. He he, well, not soul cav, but best cav. He's one of the best calves in the game. Uh, he 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 can compete with uh, West Knights uh, very easily on 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 the cav. Cavy cab battle. Red is really one of the best. Um, you also have God's Knight, which is a very old school player, uh, very old in, in the game, and uh, he's a good cab player. Then you wow. have uh, a few other players too. For Wopa, I mean they—they're a talented team. They just need to come together and win. Yes. Well, it's high time they do because there is no other chance. This is their moment to create an upset here. It is oh so important for them to get the win here. Because not only, I mean, yeah, they stay in the tournament, but you don't have to live down the embarrassment of having just an overall really poor showing in a UNAC tournament. You don't want that to be your legacy, basically. You're right. And uh, it is on. Uh, Switch right now. We're to the map. This could be live. Everyone comes on in. We got Red Knight, Jim, Kelbu, Stubberly, Cheese, Matrix, and Thor for Wapoth. Achilles gets in very quickly and gets a shot before Wapa re even realizes it. Wow, both, they're rushing this one. <laughs> quick dash yep. to get in some quick damage. Yeah, Achilles had his loadout just immediately and just immediately ran to the corner and got a hit. Uh, he took a hit he on blood. Matrix. Heels here. All right, and they're just standing off. Looks like Lagstro is on that crosswalk at uh, WK spawn. He gets a hit on Cheese Pizza. Cheese Pizza is very low on health right now. That looks like uh, that looks like it was a headshot. It's just Cheese Pizza is like Black Bart. He's he's a kick away from death. Oh wow! Light breeze will take that man's life. That's where his soul just it, like wisp leave his body. <laughs> but we have WK as Nords having spawn on the bottom. They are. What are they rocking here? Two archers who are Fidel's positioned in a nice place. I would say WK have overwhelming map uh, presence here. Wapa just have kind of this tree and a dead gym. Or a dead. Who, who is the man? Oh, yeah, Cheese Pizza. <laughs> He's a slice away from it. A <laughs> slice away the from it. The thinnest <laughs> one! <laughs> The one that you feel like a jerk for leaving in the box. That's what Cheese Pizza's got left now. He opened the fridge and he saw the leftovers and it's the tiniest little sliver. Oh, that's fantastic. And the Master what? Pops is Pops and Will Paw's favorite. WK is, looks like they're charging pretty quickly. They are moving quickly. Geldon, uh, sort of getting up there quick, but he needs his team to arrive with him. Will Paw having a favorable spawn here. They've pretty much all arrived. They've gone through the corner alley to get there. And West Knights are now approaching. PPK is coming forth. He's got the spear leading the way, spearheading the way. We have Geldon coming around on the horse. Oh, PPK is going all the way up front. He's seeing a wall of Wapa. Their shields resemble trees. It's a whole forest of Wapa here. <laughs> and the engagement happens. Kelvin takes in. Team kills Thor. Stubberly goes down to PPK. Kradog goes to Matrix. Oodle takes down Cheese Pizza and Kelvin. Red comes in, gets stopped by PPK. Oh my Achilles God. finishes him off. Wow. wow. WK just. Wow. Kelvin takes down Jim in just oh a second. Oh God. I can't watch. I must turn and avert my eyes. <laughs> And that is an ace for WK, and probably the quickest ace I've ever seen in, in that women was in a history. They were aided. Wapog got first kill, but it was on their teammate. Yeah, they were. This Wow. I mean, that is unsettling. Wapog, wait, they're not taking it laying down, though. That's great. That's wonderful. They're actually going out here to charge. They don't like the result of that last fight. They're going to show them if they, they don't turn out different. 
Reds coming in, charging right in, not doing too much. Quantum Matrix now joins the fray. WK is actually pushing the paw a little back. Thor and Jim returning to the main fray. Jim gets a kill, so it's not another ace. But it's looking like WK's way again. Thor going down. Takes a hit from PPK. And then PPK finishes him off. Lagstro was taking care of business up top. It took down Red pretty quickly. Two yes. shots and he's dead. I love the bravado from Opa and the energy, but now, now they gotta be a little demoralized. They were also, they didn't focus very well. The fights look chaotic, but only if you look at Wapa. If you look at what WK does in those fights, they, they group up well. For a certain, for like a period there, Jim and um, one of his, one of his partners there weren't even like facing anyone. So, floppy fighting by Wapa. Ooh, well, PPK and Calamity going up to face off against Wapa. They're moving pretty quickly. WK coming to meet Wapa now. Wapa is hurtled up. They tried to hold the flag, didn't work. They tried to charge him, didn't work. Now they're held up, and WK is invading their, their area. Oodle took down Cheese Pizza. He also has a hit on himself. He's going against Stubberly right now. Kradog has a uh, help. Left. Red comes in, takes down Calamity. Go gets a good bump on Kelbu. Wapa doing well here. Gelvin was held up for a moment. He breaks free. Meanwhile, Kanto Matrix, oh, he gets arched off his horse. That's essential to turn this around. That team kill didn't help out. Well, Pa, Thor taking down Kelbu just brought the end of it as PPK oh, took down my. two more people. Goodness, this is quick. This is raw. This is, this is brutal. Exciting. <laughs> it is nice to see a team in such, in, the, in what seemingly is, is there, like, Best moment here because WK are really shining. Well, WK retreating. pushing right into him again. Yep, Fid Fidel Lagstro's coming down, so you know WK are going to charge. They feel quite confident. Gelden already up there. Braddock instant his way up. Got an axe in his hand. He is ready. Oh, wait, a fight already broke out. In the back, it's a two pronged attack. WK looking like they're outnumbered in the corner here, but Calamity's able to pull back kills despite being outnumbered. PPK as well, they're just surviving for so long. Sheldon loses his horse, but by now, Wapaz lost almost all of their team. Wow, it's just surviving. They're just being able to hold their own against wait, wait, two or three people. Wait, wait, PPK's still alive? Ah. Oh my. God, outrageous. Outrageous. The Del Lagstro with the with the shame kill. The, the just stunting on him. <laughs> wow. We're already on the first swap. First swap already. 4 0 WK. WK, wow, just pulling out. I mean they they're getting they're putting themselves and they're just rushing in there and getting surrounded by Wapa, but Wapa is just not outliving WK. They WK just holding their own, waiting, yes. waiting, waiting, and you know eventually their one v ones are winning, and WK gets the advantage. Calamity if held out against have like the three advantage people. advantage in a one v one. When they get back up, it is just completely toppled over to their side. Um, it's worth noting that Mr. Calamity. <laughs> was asking if they were already ready for the next set. <laughs> showing, trying to get into Wapa's head here. WK also showing that they are, they're raring to go. They, they want to keep the heat, keep the furnace burning. And here we go, Wapa's Nords against WK. WK, Achilles already out, shooting that Wapa as they were throwing jabs around. Now, Wapa tentatively coming up here with their shields, all the same color. Nice show of unison and strength, but... Wapa just pushing right into it. Kelbu jumps around doing a jab, but gets hit by Lagstro as he jumped. WK choosing to retreat against the Nords. 
Now, Wapa kind of walking back and forth, wondering. They saw a horse run by, thought about going after him, and now they're kind of just waiting. Uh, interesting change up. Calamity goes crossbow instead of infantry. It was infantry on the uh, north side. Calamity the caller for WK. Possibly WK feel very confident, so confident in the melee engagements that they they feel that they have enough dudes to occupy the Wapa infantry while the archers go in and pinpoint, pick people off. Maybe that's what they're going for here. Now, well, Paw is in a good position, actually. They have uh, control of all three masters this way. But, uh, WK has the, uh, in a good defensive location. Well, and also, if Wapa, then again, if Wapa make a break for a flag, oh no, it ain't even gonna happen. We don't have to consider these options because PPK wants blood. So does Udo. So does Skeldon going all up in there. Yeah. Wapa, PPK finishes off a 2v1. Wapa are fighting in this alley, just three men against four. Shields, oh my god. Good bump by Red. Whoever. Gets, but Alexa uh, is actually getting calamity. run down by Cheese Pizza and stubbornly, he might go down. Red is still running around, trying to get back to his allies, but who died over here in the corner? Stubbornly team kills Cheese Pizza was oh, not good. Oh no, Stubbornly killed, team killed his ally, trying to get uh, Fidel. He did get Fidel eventually, but... Oh, I think the horse got- oh god, the horse. <laughs> that infinitesimal amount of damage, got him. And that round was won only by PPK right there. PPK took on a 1v2, beat the two people, and goes on, kills another person, then goes on and kills another person. I mean, wow, that, that was some great import from PPK. Amazing, he's sitting at 4-0. Oh, and again, the fight starts. I think Wapa and Al are just looking for anything here. Hoping to win an engagement. Oh, another team kill, stubbornly. On some servers, you get three, you get booted, so you better watch out. He dies. <laughs> he PPK takes out stubbornly. Oodle with that pike out. Oh my god, the crossfire. Brilliant, a shield and lag stroke, like the unison between these guys. They immediately got each other's back. Picking off Reds, Mr. Tax Squad Panda, he's a sad panda, he's running, last of his kind. Udo with that pike doing some great work, stopped Red, and uh, as he was turning around, Achilles gets the shot on his back and finishes him off. And that's oh why Udo goodness. takes out that pike and uh, can do, a, do it well. What is happening here to Wapa? I mean, WK obviously are at their A game, but Wapa's together. Oh, and already Tax Squad Panda getting a jab in the side, getting run over by a horse. The man is afraid. Red gets oh. a shield. Beautiful job. That well, WK getting kind of cocky there, allowing his shields to be uh, hit. Cheese Pizza is now going after Oodle. This is a smart move. Wapa is moving out, trying to break up WK. Oh, but WK is still surviving. This is the problem. They're survivors. They're grouping up together, trying to survive. Wapa. Oh, they're bunched up. They're getting people one at a time. Wapa looking pretty good right now. 3v5. Wapa's favorite. Jim takes down Lagstro with some help from Red. Calamity Ooh, last night, nice. standing for WK, gets knocked down by Reds, and Cheese Pizza kills him. That's a round one by Wapa. Great round. Good job. Wapa get a round. That is <laughs> so, so important for the morale. So now we are at... My score is messed up. What are we at? 6-1 <laughs> WK. Alrighty, 6-1 and a very quick match, but... Looks like WK not charging in this time. Wapa able to throw a pail of water on the Inferno that is WK right now, but it... It ain't gonna extinguish him, it's only just a slight mount. 
Let's see if Wapak can do anything with this. They have one. Jim is all nice and armored up. He is uh, their expert duelist, and maybe here he can lead them into some good infantry engages because overwhelmingly Wapa are infantry. Just one cap and a single archer. Probably why their last rush worked last time when Cheese Pizza thought to go out and actually attack WK. So, let's see what Wapa think of here. Achilles they got the makings of something. Stubberly Jim and Kelbu by are running himself. up there. Oh, Craddock. Meanwhile, WK are pushing out the other way. Craddock is now trying to fend off the makings of Wapa Salt. He's doing a good job enough. WK are reorganized, now they can meet up with Wapa head on. Calamity with a nice shot on Reds, taking out one of the cavalry threats. Gelden goes and... in for Matrix, will get stopped, and Matrix does a great job and takes him down with Stubberly. Oodle takes down Cheese Pizza, the 4v4 right now. Tight hallway, Matrix is able to shoot, so Oodle realizes the threat of the Archer, but no, Matrix is so safe, he's got the backup of his allies defending him. Oodle's doing great work trying to distract his opponents. Doing enough to allow the rest of WK. Oh my gosh. To group up. 2v3. Did they turn this? Wapa turning it. This is a turn. Hey. Wapa takes another one from WK. Oh my god. Two in a row. Wapa. This is unexpected. You'd have thought they would have been. I mean they would just uh, lay over and take it. But. No, they are fighting back. Rollover. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Lag show with that quick shot and the shield of Wapa. They got their shields up this time. Didn't get a hit. Wapa WK have pushing a hard. Two men with nice armor. They're looking, it's looking much better for them. Calamity switched back to infantry. Yep, WK, WK have extra infantry. They're realizing they're losing the infantry engagements. Is it enough though now? Wapa are pushing up. Up on the hill. Oh, the Wapa I think have the advantage at the moment. PPK, Calamity, both took hits, Calamity went down. Now we'll power change focus back up the hill. Oh, Achilles nice doing work. Red is still up on his horse. Yeah, Red's doing a fantastic job with that horse. He's getting stabbed. Good bump Gelden. by Gelden. Oh, he hits the wall. It might be ruined for him. Oh, it's curtains. But no! He's got great backup. Oodle, Oodle. gives his life to protect Gelden. Now it's a three on four. WK on the retreat. Wapa have four men, but among them they have a cab, so they are looking real nice right now. Reds doing fantastic work right now. Full health, didn't take any hit. Helped out, took down Gelden's horse. WK are now licking their wounds, assessing what they can do. A shield's a standing point, arching. Um, well, Paws still have an archer, the cab and two infantrymen. They have a nice variety of men here. So now it's an archer off here, which not sure who's gonna win. Shield crossbow versus bow seems like the bow's favored. Health is in definitely Wapa's favor. Red, Panda, and Matrix all with full health. Stubberly health is in with supply. Yeah, health is on short supply for WK. Stubberly has a lot of armor, but he's the only one with half health. If you add up their bars, it makes up just two guys. <laughs> so they're, they're really disadvantaged. Black spawns, um, with power, they're making their way the long way around. Reds is coming up the rear. Gelden is trying to raise the flag. This is kind of desperate right here. They know, they know it's going to be tough, but they, they're adding that little pressure. They don't have an extra man, but they have extra flag time. Reds is coming in. Oh my god! Loses it's his trap. horse. It's, Reds trips something. There was a wire spread out there. Oh, Gelden misses his stab on a down red. PPK going against Stubberly right now. Killy is going to 2v1. Two two man. They're sending two men in the archers. Oh, PPK man. takes out Stubberly. Gelden take takes out Red. Gelden takes his. But Achilles oh. kills the man that was going to kill him. They messed up. Oh, my God. They blew it. A WK with three men. They took no damage, I think. A shields, I think, took a slice. Wow, that was that was great work from WK, holding their own, getting their buying their time and their infantry work just went went to 
Went all in. Oh, wow. I think Reds was way, way too over eager there. Running right into the trap set by WK. And then, when they were choosing who to fight, they sent two people to fight an archer who's, who could have just, you know, defended himself. That's all he had to do. But only sent one man to take out PPK. PPK is sitting at 8 and 2. He was injured. Had they initially focused priority target PPK, they could have easily swept that. So, we'll pop playing that really poorly. But now both teams stare at each other. It's really a turnaround, though. And they're just staring each other down, getting shots. Gelden circling them with jabs, hitting them in the rear, making them turn their backs to to Lagstro, which is not oh, good. Oh, he's hitting Quantum Matrix. WK are eating him up with the poke. They just put themselves in a bad position right there. Now WK feel confident, knows that Gelden is in the background getting kills. Wapar outnumbered now and in a terrible position. They're surrounded. Oh, and they're pushing forward, though. Cheese Pizza and Co., they're pushing forward. They're going to die fighting. But yes. Kelton doing a great work on the cap. Got Cheese Pizza down right there. The bump slash. Red's still up. Delay. But Ooh, a nice little cheeky got. Cash on Fidel, but... He just has too much to fight here. Don't know what Wapa was thinking there. They were very tentative. Jim was hit just facing the opponent, so it seemed like he had his guard down. Well, Khan just had their guard down in general there. Gelden did a great job right there in the end facing off against Red. Red is a, a great cabby cab player, and Gelden knows it, so he just bided his time, put him into position so his infantry could surround him, and uh, Red got stopped by a spear, and that was the end of that. That was the end of that, and if Wapa don't get it together, it's going to be the end of them for this season. Eight for this two. season. For the, uh, to look back at history when Wapa and WK faced each other the first time in UNAC Season 2, the score was 16-2. So, they're on pace for that right now. <laughs> and this was Wapa's map choice. So, we'll see how WK does. Well, WK keeping up their good work. They've performed yes. well in all their matches. This is kind of what we expected out of WK today. Expected them to uh, have a large lead on the first map and the second map. I, I, I expect uh, Wapa to put up a good fight, but WK just looking really strong right now, especially after that win against TMW yesterday. I mean, that, that was... That, I mean, Team W only had one round one against uh, against uh, WK, and Team W was, you know, full strength, and they were they were, and see in UNAC season one they were one of the final uh, the semifinalists. So, which was harder to get into? Yeah, it was a lot harder to get into. There was a lot more teams competing, uh, and two more teams that would have made it into Division A this, this season uh, with BKS and uh, GA, the Euro team, uh, both in there. So yeah, it was it was surprising to see uh, TMW lose yesterday and now Wapa has uh, taken, uh, taken more rounds from WK than TMW does, but still they have a, they have a lot more to go before they can win, if they expect to win. Want to mention Mr. PPK, he may have lost the duel, but he certainly won in the team fights because he was sitting at 9 and 2 in that last set, I think. Possibly 8 and 2. Just an absurd amount of kills on one person. Yeah, PPK was really leading the force for WK in those infantry matches. He was handling his own, handling against a 1v2, and definitely holding his own for most of Truly it. Truly the animal mother of his band, Quadrant of Men. Wrong word. What is a band of soldiers called? Squadrons for planes. Uh, 
I only can think of Band of Brothers now. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful show. Well. Let's see uh, what they can do here. What is the map that's coming up now? Random Plains. Oh, joy. Vagars versus Serenid. So no Swadia, so no Great Lances to deal with. Just want to mention and give a credit to our wonderful cameraman, Daphne. Does awesome work and a splendid job. And God bless his soul for what he's going to do now. In covering open and random planes. <laughs> The one thing about random planes is because it's randomly generated, uh, sometimes the map isn't uh, that suitable to uh, competitive play. And it looks like this one will be a good one to do. It's hilly. I like the hillier one. This one looks like a very open field, a few trees, but that's about it. And seems like everybody rocking the horse. That is the go-to meta on open and random planes. All cab, all the time. Uh, WK going with their classic one archer strategy. One archer, rest cab. Achilles is probably the most slippery archer out there. There was, uh, if you watched TMW versus uh, WK from last night, uh, there is about uh, a few episodes of uh, Achilles just avoiding about an onslaught of Cav. I, I think he avoided like 18 attempts at his life and just kept on sliding through it, just like right now. <laughs> <laughs> he, He's a slippery He goes one. down the Wapa, but he he uh, got Lagstro took down a cheese pizza as the uh, sacrifice there. Oh, and right. Red lost his horse. So, uh, Lepar grouped up here. Calamity oh. takes a hit from God's Knight. Really, it all funnels in, and whenever the someone loses a horse, it, then it all becomes a foot battle. And right now, that person's red. He's the unlucky man. He's really short of straw. He's got no horse. Calamity just lost his horse. Stub lost his horse. Stubbly. You would think, oh no, wait, did they trade a horse? PPK, I think, gave somebody a horse because he feels so confident on foot. No, is... I think it's I think it's the opposite. Uh, he feels Calamity is a better cab than uh, PPK is. Ah, well. Quantum Matrix uh, is getting run down by two people. Craddock loses his horse as well. Wapa. Oh, PPK stops the horse. Oh, what the hell? Craddock, Craddock turns around and gets another horse. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was great work from Kradok and defeated PK. Kradok avoided the uh, easy kill on the ground, stopping and protecting PPK. PPK finishes him off, and the WK cab just crashes in and helps him out. WK cab cleaning up, but that is wonderful play on foot. You, you think that you are so disadvantaged. Well, apparently what Pop thinks that the people on foot are so disadvantaged, but that's not the case. A team wound from Barrel against Geld. Ooh, and one little last kill. That little team team wound uh, killed Gelden right there. But Lagstro finishes off Kelbu. And team wound brought Gelden down to a one hit kill, and Kelbu just swipes out and got got him. So it is 9-2 for West Knights. Horses are running amok out there. Actually, there is one brave man, recognition to his shields, who is on foot. He is arching. Has a lance, traded it for his uh, weapon. No, it's sitting right next to him, so maybe not. And then Gelden's guarding him. Adele Lagstro sitting at four kills. Lagstro, Press although he's known for his archery skill, he's a fantastic archer. Uh, he has recently picked up uh, Cav and 
is an asset to WK because he is a he is very good all around player. Well, Pa chilling in the sparse forest cover that they have, and WK because they picked an archer are hanging around the hill. I think archers would be kind of useful here. Usually they're not, but this is a particularly hilly open plain. More mountainous than most. Craddock and Red's the first sign of aggression. I think Red's got the first stab on Craddock's horse. And they're still going at it, just slightly, just slightly. Fella standoff. Flag spawns, oh my god! Did WK cheat? How did the shields know this would happen? LOL goes out. Flag spawns oh so favorably for the single archer that is a shields. He is on the tip top of the hill. He can shoot on some people. There is no cover for him though, that's the one thing. He has his Reds allies. Craddock is, is right partially his cover, but he has body blockers. Veril and Craddock seem real focused on protecting him. He is actually Cheese retreating pizza a little comes in. Oh, Here they comes got a crash. Oh. Reds takes down Achilles. Once again, Reds is the fantastic Lancer. Knows his distance well. The end of the map Mavid. takes down Kelpie. Mavid has just trolled three different horsemen. Kel K survives. Oh, PPK doesn't realize he also joins in the map edge. God's Knights is next. Craddock this is just is everyone on that map edge. <laughs> that invisible wall. Stopping everyone. They're so surprised. Kelpie on that flag. Wapa are raising it. Kel K doing the best he can. He stops Barrel. He gets hit up. Oh, he's done now. Yes, he got run down. Red saves him. Red loses his horse. And God's Knight is barreling down the hill trying to help his guys. Will Pa seem... Oh, no! Kelke had no health. God's Knight had some, but PPK took that. And Will Pa are now outnumbered. Incredibly outnumbered. In fact, they're dead. <laughs> Red got right off, uh, was on the ground because he lost his horse. Barrel got out of his horse, and then Red jumped back on it to get off the flag, giving WK the flag. But uh, it really, Red's a better on the better on the cab. But uh, it didn't really help. He lost the land speed, lance duel against Lagstro, and the calamity finished him up as he was getting hit. Just uh, it seems like better cab work from uh, WK side right now. This is scary for Wapa. Seems all but certain that they have lost this match, but then there is high likelihood that they will face Honorbound if they get relegated. So it's very important that they do a wonderful performance here. And right now, everyone just kind of finding weakest member of the herd. PPK got a good stab on Stubberly. Stubberly at health, health right now. A stab away from dying. Lagshow took down Cheese Pizza as they crash on Achilles. Here comes Moro Paw. Coming in Looks on like Achilles. Looks like they're nearing map edge again. Nope, invisible walls are not playing a part in this fight. Just good old fashioned horsing. And Achilles is circling around with that lance. No one's getting a hit on him yet. Ah, it's bound to happen though. Stubberly do doing, trying his hand at it. PPK's actually stopped up. A few Wapa are stopped up trying to get PPK. And now his shields has trees. Oh, and he can arch. He feels confident enough to switch out the the um, the spear for the arching. Oh, yes, Stubberly is stopped and dead. WK are now mounting an attack against Wapa using his shields over by that tree. He also has Lagstro to help him even. WK fighting uphill. The shields now has to run up to try to find him up here. WK kind of playing this poorly by not fighting in his vision, but they're a little mindful of him. Kratok took a hit on God's Knight. Oh uh, my god, did the shields get a headshot on a moving target? He Beautiful! Does that. <laughs> Fidel Lagstro defending his buddy. Oh my god, everyone that tries to get a shield gets responded by an arrow. I think he even jumped a horse. 
A shield's jumped the horse, it's over. <laughs> it's the end of the show. He jumped the horse. Wow. Making that single archer work. He has the benefit of tree cover there, the benefit of good teammates, and the benefit of just have, of being a skillful player to survive in the first place. Wait, what is PPK doing? PPK is charging everybody. PPK just don't care. PPK is A-OK -okay with having three horsemen on his back. Wait, the rest of WK are now in here. It's a, it's a tree cover fight. This is an interesting one. Oh, first death is PPK because he ran headfirst into a tree. <laughs> he will want to snap his neck anyway if someone didn't stab him. This is pretty funny actually with Paw. Uh, brings Matrix as an archer. He takes down Gelden. So we'll pause stealing a little uh, tactic from uh, WK. We'll pa have great numbers here. Barrel getting a kill on foot. Doing the best he can without a horse. Ooh, a nice kill by Calamity on his pursuer, God Knight. The 4v4, and it's looking pretty even right now, actually. Matrix is shooting from the trees. Those are wonderful trees to shoot from. Meanwhile, Shields has to shoot all the way from up here on the hill, which is also a nice position. I think he's focusing, Matrix. Craddock is chilling near Shields, so is Calamity. Meanwhile, who is the brave person actually attacking? Nope, both sides content to wait it out. One waiting in the forest, one waiting on the hill. And the hill is what gets the flag. A shields is running to it. He's got a triangle of men around him on horses to protect him. And... Oh! Wow, hey, one Red's more one. lost to Kradok in a cavy cab duel. Kradok, uh, that's a big disadvantage for Wapaw right now. Wapaw really needed Red to be up right there. Flag is going up in WK uh, favor. I'm too old for this journey. <laughs> Does Kelka, because Matrix has to go. They, I think they can see way off in the distance their loss if they look and squint. Because that flag is going to get raised. I see very little chance of Wapaw coming in there and contesting it. Attack Squad Panda's going though. Oh, it's going to be, oh my god, eat it. Devour. Kel Calamity goes right back to raising it. Takes down Kradok. It is a 2v3 right now. Black show going in for going in Matrix. Very brave. Oh my goodness! Behind the back Lansing, just brilliant work. And yeah, Quantum is screwed now. Fidel with both of the kills, with many of the kills. Oh my god! With double digit kills, the man's sitting at 11 0. Calamity's sitting at 7 0. These numbers. Lagstro does lead the boards for UNAC kills right now. He has the most kills out of any other player in UNAC Season 2. <laughs> this, is, this is simply GG right here. 12 2 in favor of WK. WK swept the open planes completely. I really think bringing that extra archer in though uh, really helped uh, Wapa right there. I mean, they, that was about the most even uh, side they could ha ask for. If uh, Red would have killed Kradok and had the advantage right there and stayed alive, it could have gone with Paul's way. Could have, but then they had distances to cover as well. Have to remember that. Yep. So, There's always that distance. I where mean, the flag I feel pops. like that kill cemented their loss that round, but had they having even got a kill, they'd still be fighting uphill. Having an advantage, though, in, in player numbers really helps out, even if your flag is down.
Now we... All right. And here we go again. We got a big hill in the middle. We start right once more. Does it change between swaps? Like the map actually physically changes? The map actually physically changes. That's the thing with the uh, random planes. Oh, we have this little weird tiny shrubbery. I don't know what these these type of plants are. Little stocky things instead of real trees. Yeah, they are plane shrubs. <laughs> plane shrubs. Kind of the size of weed stalks, but bushier. Interesting specimen, but they dot the landscape here. Both teams on their own hills. They're just two giant hills. A couple archers for Wapa. They added one more archer, dropped a calf, and WK with uh, one archer and six calves. So both with good compositions. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Well, this is so, I mean, these hills are so enormous that Wapa has opted to get two archers. And not much is happening. WK are stutter stepping. Stutter stepping with their horses behind their hill. The Wapa. cheerleader for WK right now, Wiley Sly, also the leader. It well, comes in for his first appearance. Out. Who's I first that, appearance? I think it's Wiley Sly's first appearance for UNAC. He was uh, sitting out for most of it. Wiley Sly. I could have sworn I've seen that name before. Maybe it was on the forums. Oh, he's definitely active. He's the leader of WK. And we'll pog at a very, very nice... Uh, he leads pop. them, but doesn't participate much in the matches. Yeah, he leads them right. Uh, he leads them, but uh, he is taking a break, a vacation for season two. Well, he can enjoy a round such as this where the points don't matter because the victory is already cemented. It's dry. That's 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 done. Flag spawned under Wapas P. They're able to raise it. WK are arriving on their horses. This flag might go to Wapa before WK can do anything about it. WK doing some some great little Oh, dude crossing in front of Kel K, killing him. What a beautiful calf play. Well, I spoke too soon as a lot of Wapa go down very quickly wow, to WK. Or Wapa just at the same time practically. These pizza running uphill. Cheese pizza, that the tomato sauce running downhill because this horse is dead, all of it just spilling right down the hill. Batman's bakery is in flames. <laughs> There's not enough pun topics for that name. Okay. <laughs> Achilles with a headshot on the horse, drops it immediately, WK finish him off. That's an ace for WK. Ace them on their own hill. I did not expect uh, WK to get an ace right there, or even win at that time, because the flag was already far up and uh, very far. I mean, WK were playing w one man down the entire time. WK seem to be opting for an early skirmish? No, they thought about it. And we are waiting, waiting for uh, Master, it looks like. Achilles moving into spot. Shooting arrows into the blue yonder. Seems like we'll power moving downhill into the valley between the hills. Doc just takes a hit from Achilles. Here comes uh, Calamity. Finishes him up. He 
DPK and Wily Sly are an assassination mission up the hill, but Fidel beats him up there. He is he he wants to, to pad that key to it. K to it. K. KDR. Oh yeah, yeah. There's no system war, man. You're right. <laughs> Nonetheless, lots of fighting on the hill. Calamity just got dehorsed. Achilles with that shot on Cheese Pizza. Kelbu doing a great job as an imp in the middle, surrounded by horses. Got a few hit on everybody. PPK comes in for the risky couch, but gets him. As Kelbu was surrounded Kel by Cap. Kepasama. Ooh, PPK stops God's Night Calamity with the couch right behind him. Panda going extinct. They're hunting him. This is illegal. This is like the, the ivory trade right here when we're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Poor panda. Being hunted for her pelts. It's an attack squad of panda. <laughs> so Lagstroke comes around and uses the maneuverability, gets right in front of her, takes down her horse. Well. 14 2 West Knights. Let's see, wait, wait, let's see if West Knights can improve upon their previous score. Can they get a third round? If they score another round here, they did better against WK at the end of the season than they did at the beginning. And that would be the smallest of victories that Wapak could take from this. So I'm rooting for them to get around here. That was the score, right? Let me verify this while the horses run. It, it is 14-2, you're correct. No, I'm saying the first week score. Oh, yeah. It would be the uh, same. It'd be 16-2, I believe. Well, Paul with an interesting strategy. Four archers. All in the open right now. Three cav. And WK keeping their six cav, one archer strategy. Paul with four archers. Just amazing. That's bold. Might work for this map because there is the hills are so large. Why not use your the environment as best you can? But don't know the hill they're on is not particularly large. Well, one thing about uh, Serenade is their calves are easy to drop against archers. So if well, Paul brought in some heavy bows, some strong bows, then uh, they can be able to drop WK's cav immediately, and then from there they might be able to do some work. Hmm. That is a brave strategy to shoot down the cab as it runs at you. That is very nerve wracking. But hopefully they'll seem... pick him off before then. Oh, we'll pop we'll pop come around the hill. WK came around the hill as the pop moved up it. Oh, they did not have time to shoot. WK just attacked at a brilliant moment. Now the uh, archers are way too caught up with dodging to deal damage. We'll pot down to the three cap. The archers yeah, well, do not was work just out. wide in the open. It was like shooting fish in a barrel right there. These people, cab coming in from all sides, from the, around the side and up the middle. Archers didn't know which way to go in, you know, that hill. Just the cab were on them before the, the uh, archers well, could Paul do anything. Well, valued that hill and they needed that hill to make that strategy work. Very intelligent of WK to attack him before they could reach it. Yeah, the, the top of the hill would have been great for Wapa, but on the other side of the hill, I mean, WK just used that hill to their advantage. All right. They uh, av avoided all the archers. WPA, I mean, Wapa still. They're staying on the hill they spawned on. Are they going to move into the valley? They're sticking with these four archers. 
Don't know why they move into a valley, but it seems to be what they're doing. This is it. This is the last chance they have to get around on WK. Pack squad panda leading the charge. DPK running interference. Oh my god, using a brilliant cover by that one tree. That one tree blocking four archer arrows. And here but comes no. WK. Oh, the rest of WK come. PPK never died. He's really injured. Oh, he gets himself an archer. The ones that shot him and half helped him. He gets another one. Well, let's set up the last one for him. Almost. He runs him over. Ah, oh, the rest of the rest of WK got him up too quickly. That was just. Oh my God. It, perfect bait. PPK with the perfect bait. I don't. Yes. 16-2. History has repeated itself here. Back squad handle after Oh wait, no, 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 there's someone else. God damn it. Clampy finishes it up with two. Two kills, 9-0. Looking pretty strong. And that is the end of the match. 16-2 WK versus Wupaw. WK moves on to the finals. Will they face either Balian or TMW? Yes. We'll be broadcasting the finals next weekend, uh, hopefully. Uh, TMW versus Balian should be sometime soon. When, as soon as we know it, we'll tell you about it. So stay tuned on the forum and join our Steam group and find us on Twitter at twitter.com slash warbandna or look on the Reddit pages. We're all over the place. Yes, if you want to be informed, there are many avenues for you to get there. And Wapa. Very sad to see that they did not do well tonight, but they're out of contention for the finals, but they, we might see them again if they are the right. Is it determined if they're the relegated teams? Do two teams get relegated or just one? No, no. Just, well, we will see them again. They'll, they'll be in the promotion match, which will either be against... Actually, I think it'll probably be against HB. So we'll probably versus HB in about two weeks uh, for the promotion match. Well, they need to... HB is a tough contender, so they gotta get their act together. But Hold yeah. their own and uh, hopefully stay in Division A. Is yes, what hold their own do. position, really. <laughs> in Division A. Alright, well thank you all for watching, guys. Um, we'll have a semi-final match coming up, and then next week we have uh, Dolph versus KOA. Uh, that should hopefully decide who goes in the second promotion match, which will be against the loser of Balian vs. TMW. Oh, uh, another good match to see. Yep. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and we'll keep you informed. Thank you for watching.